Hey everyone, it's Desi Chang, and today we're gonna to be comparing the Peak Design Everyday Sling V2 six liter versus the Wandered Rogue six liter. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about these similarities as well as the differences between the two bags. And I'm gonna be doing a pack out if you're gonna be using a Sony system, a Fujifilm system, as well, I'm gonna be using the, uh, the all new DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And at the very end, I'll tell you which bag I actually prefer. Full disclosure, no one asked me to make this video. I just thought it would be a great comparison between two of the most popular camera sling bags on the market today. So the Peak Design Everyday Sling V2 retails for about 120 US dollars, whereas the Wander Rogue retails for about 140 US dollars. So let's talk about the similarities between the two bags first. They both are made out of weatherproof materials. In terms of which one's more waterproof though, the Wander definitely wins just because of that rubberized material. The water just kind of beaded straight off of the bag and whereas the Peak Design kind of remained damp and wet. Both bags will fit up to an 11 inch iPad. For the Wander, you will have to unzip the bottom and expand the laptop or the, sorry, the tablet area in order for the entire thing to fit. For the Peak Design, you don't have to do that. However, I find that it's a little bit snug and a little bit tighter to fit the iPad in there, um, especially if you're gonna have it filled with camera gear. Both bags have a front accessory zippered pocket right here. Unfortunately, both of them are kind of tight, so you can really only fit smaller, thinner items in there. Both bags can accommodate a Sony a7 IV with a 24 to 70 f2.8 lens attached and still have room for an additional lens. The Peak Design has a little bit of extra room to play with, um, so it's not as tight as the Wander. Both bags also have an accessory zippered pocket at the very top of the flap. However, it, it is a little bit squishy, especially if you're gonna be putting a full frame body in there. It just kind of obstructs it a little bit and it's not really an ideal place, especially if you have sunglasses as it might squish it. Both bags have a nice and wide grab handle. As well, both bags stand up on its own. Both of the straps offer a quick adjustment if you wanna quickly loosen or tighten it up. Both of them have a removable strap, which you can change it from the left side to the right side. However, the Wandered one is about 10 times faster to remove just because it has that quick release button that you can just, you know, press the button, quickly release and swap the strap around. Whereas the Peak Design, you actually have to, you know, spend time to thread um, the strap through the buckle. So in terms of the strap, both of them have a, a quick release uh, function where you can kind of undo the strap and kind of put it back on you. Um, however, the Wander again is also 10 times faster because it's just a very simple snap buckle design. So you can snap it on, snap it off. Whereas the Peak Design, you kind of have to kind of, you know, press it and kind of thread it through and it's not that quick and easy. So it kind of takes a lot more time compared to the Wander. And now let's talk about the differences between the two bags. In terms of looks, personal preference, but I honestly think the Wandered looks a lot better than the Peak Design. Also, the Wander comes in many more different colors. On the Peak Design, on either side of the bag, there's a, peak, there's a strip right here where you can actually mount your capture clip um, and, and your quick access capture clip. On the Wander, there isn't a place for that, but I feel like it's unnecessary anyways, just because both of these bags are fairly quick to access your camera. One thing I really like about the Peak Design bag, or strap anyways, is that you can actually make, this, make the strap a little bit longer and so it, this is really helpful if you had a larger jacket or if you're actually a person that was just a larger person in general, you might find that the Peak Design strap is a little bit easier to uh, use than the Wander one. Another difference is that the Wander on either side, there's this kind of stretchy stash pocket uh, on the inside. So this would be a great place if you wanted to throw in smaller items such as uh, your AirPods or if you had a DJI mic in there, it's a perfect place for that. So when accessing the main compartment, the Peak Design actually has two zippers. So you can actually open and close it from either way. Whereas the Wandered one, there's only one zipper. So you can actually open it and close it only one way. For the Wandered, there's actually two accessory straps right at the front right here, and they are expandable. So if you want to slip in a jacket or anything like that, you totally can do it right there. When you're accessing that front stash pocket, there's actually a key leash inside. So you can hook your keys onto it. The Peak Design doesn't have that. In addition to these two front accessory straps, it actually has this bottom part, which you can unvelcro and open up. And it's got the sleeve, so you can actually pass through a tripod all the way through there, or you can put your water bottle, or you can just kind of roll up and throw smaller, thinner items into there. Um, and this is kind of one great feature that the Peak Design does not have. 
You can do external carry on the Peak Design as well, as it has um, a few latch points right here. So if you have some accessory straps, you can totally tie down a tripod or whatever else you can on this bag as well. However, this one's kind of already built in there, so it's just always kind of stays with the bag, whereas for this one, you're gonna have to carry extra straps with it. For the Wander, because it's a little bit wider, it actually comes with two kind of dividers, so you can you know separate it into three different sections horizontally. Um, for the uh, Peak Design, it's a little bit taller, so it's more of a vertical kind of bag. Um, but the one cool thing is that it does have that origami um, foldable divider right here, so you can actually stack lenses one on top of the other. So another thing to note is that the Wander bag is much thicker than the Peak Design. So if you're looking for something very, very thin and streamlined, then the Peak Design will be your choice. But because uh, this is thicker, it's got a little bit more girthier room, it also does have an additional sleeve at the very back of the bag. It has two large stash pockets, three smaller stash pockets at the back, and it just has this kind of big open room right here for you to throw smaller, thinner items in there. So definitely this bag has much more organization for small accessories as opposed to this bag. The Wandered also has side grab handles on either side, so you can kind of grab it from this side, or this side, or just the top side. Also, hidden away at the bottom, there is another strap, and this is going to be great because if you're going to be biking or running or doing any kind of vigorous activity, this is going to really help cinch that bag right up to your body and really, really hold it tight so it doesn't move around. And in terms of the final difference between the two bags uh, is the back of the bag, which is the part that touches your body. On the Peak Design, there's nothing. It's literally the same material on the front of the bag as it is on the back of the bag. On the Wander though, it's cushy, it's soft, it's breathable, it's got this air mesh to it. So definitely the Wander is gonna be much more comfortable when you're wearing this pack on your body. And now let's do a pack out using my Sony system. And now let's do a pack out using my Fujifilm system. And so now let's see how much space the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 takes up in this bag. So overall, both of these bags are great. They serve the same function. They're very, very similar size. And, uh, and the quality materials are, are really, really amazing. Now, in terms of customer service and warranty, I will have to praise Peak Design though, just because I did have one of my older sling bags, I think the version one, the zipper broke, and they actually replaced me, gave me a version two for free. Uh, no hassle, you know, I just had to enter my, you know, my, my code and show them my receipt. Um, and so Peak Design, you know, really, really good service. And, and I feel like that's definitely a brand you kind of want to stick with. For Wandered, I haven't had that experience where I needed to replace anything or fix anything with Wandered yet, so I can't really say for sure. But uh, they both are, you know, great companies. You can kind of see all over social media the things that they're doing, the things that they're innovating. Um, they're both great, and they're both they feel like they're rugged and built to last. So you're not going to go wrong with either one of them. However, um, if I had to choose one of them, I'm definitely going to choose the Wandered, um, just because not only is it does it look better in my opinion, but I just feel like for twenty dollars more, you get a lot more features with this bag than you do with this bag. So yeah. Anyways, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see me do more of these, please like and subscribe, and definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31.